Ever wondered about the hidden love stories of royals? Let's dive into the love life of Sheikh Hamdan, the crown prince of Dubai. Sheikh Hamdan is not just famous for his good looks and being active on social media. He also has a mystery surrounding his love life. He got married to Sheikha Sheikha Thani Al Maktoum, his cousin. Despite this, rumors about their marriage problems float around, but there's no solid proof. People online still say Sheikha Sheikha is his wife. But there's more to the story. Since he was young, Sheikh Hamdan liked another woman, but couldn't be with her because of his his arranged marriage. Even though he was married, his heart was with someone else. This made his relationship with Sheikha Sheikha complicated. He even wrote poems about his feelings, showing he was caught between what he wanted and what he had to do. When Sheikh Khalifa passed away, Sheikh Hamdan's dad arranged the marriage to Sheikha Sheikha to make sure the future crown prince was stable and protected. This decision was tough for Sheikh Hamdan because his love was for another woman. This other woman had to leave Dubai, leaving Sheikh Hamdan sad. Now Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikha Sheikha are back together, but it's unclear if they are truly happy or just together for duty. The story of the woman Sheikh Hamdan really loved remains a big mystery. What challenges did they face? How deep was their love? We don't have all the answers, but it's a story that touches the heart. In the end, Sheikh Hamdan's life shows us the tough choices between duty and heart, but it also shows hope and the journey to find happiness. There are a lot of rumors on the internet that Sheikh Hamdan Fadza has more than one wife, but nobody really knows the truth. That's why we'll only talk about information about his first wife, Sheikha Sheikha bin Said Al Thani Al Maktoum, and his second wife, Hadiyah Zen. Hamdan posts a lot of pictures of his twin children, but no one knows who their mother is. So far, all we know is that he got married on May 15, 2019, to Sheikha Sheikha bin Said Al Thani Al Maktoum, who is his first cousin on his mother's side. This means that she and her husband have probably known each other since they were kids. While the royal families keep their political power, in order to keep their political power, two royal families set up a lot of arranged marriages. For example, Sheikha Sheikha had to go through the same thing with Faza. It was an arranged marriage that happened between the couple for political reasons. There's a famous story that goes like this. Says that Hamdan was in love with another woman from a very young age, but he had to accept his arranged marriage to Sheikha Sheikha because that's what his father wanted. Even after the wedding, Faza was writing poems to his girlfriend from that time because he wasn't happy with his situation with Sheikha. This is an example of a marriage that doesn't involve love. Sheikha Sheikh suffered the most. First, she had to deal with politically motivated propaganda. Then she had to deal with him cheating on her with his girlfriend. Many sources on the internet today say that at the start of their relationship, Sheikha was in love with Faza. But Faza wasn't happy with his marriage and continued his love story with another woman. He used to publish several poems for his lover, beloved girlfriend at the time, so it's true that love can make you do both great and terrible things. Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikha Sheikha lived together for a while, but when Sheikha found out about the affair, she and Hamdan broke up. They say that Hamdan had been in love with a mysterious girl for a long time before they got married, and he tried many things to end his marriage to Sheikha Sheikha, he tried many relationships, but none of them worked out. Eventually, he married Sheikha Sheikha, but he wasn't ready to leave his true love. So he kept going with both of them. Do you know who that woman is? If you want to know more about the woman who broke Shi Faza's heart, you can do a simple Google search and find pictures of her. Then tell us about your experience in the comments. The search results. Also, she married the love of her life after the Shikoshak event ended in Dubai. When she found out that Sheikh Andre and Faza were seeing his girlfriend, she tried many things to get her attention from Sheikh Hamdan, but she always turned her down. As a result, their relationship ended. There was a rumor that Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikha got divorced. Many people talked about it for a long time, but there was no proof or paper filed anywhere. So the story stayed a rumor. He is now married to his second wife, Shikashaka bin Said bin Tani al Maktoum, who was his first girlfriend and is also the mother of his children. It sounds strange, but Camden is looking for his first wife again. This is happening after the death of Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed bin Sultan al Nayan. Sheikh Khalifa was the second president of the UAE and the ruler of Abu Dhabi from 2004 to 2022. His death woke up many political leaders in the UAE which is why Cameron's father told him to keep things calm as crown prince. 
This all began after the death of Sheikh Khalifa, whose full name was Sultan al Nayan on May 13, 2022. It's happening for political reasons since Cameron is the crown prince. Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Camden's father, wants him to improve his relationship with his wife so that he can become more stable in politics, which is what their families wanted from the start. Sheikh Muhammad also wants a baby from Sheikh Camden and Sheikh Ashaka bin Said bin Tani al Maktoum so that the baby will be the basis for their family's political ties to be stable. Sheikh Muhammad did try to improve his relationship with his wife, relationship with his first wife, Sheikh Ashaka bin Said bin Tani al Maktoum. His second wife left him in Dubai and he had to let her go because of this political deal. I hope you enjoyed this video about She Camden Faz's wife. It talks about who she is and how she got married to She Camden Faz. What do you think of the information we gave you about Sheikha Shaka bin Said's life? What do you think about the connection between the two? Himself is known for having a big heart, and we don't think his wife could find a better partner. At Best of Dubai, we're always looking for new and interesting things to talk about in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy what we're posting. Click the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube page and click the ring icon at the bottom right. More news about the new videos we're putting out soon. Until then, take care of yourself and we'll see you in another video. In the meantime, here are two videos we think you might enjoy. Do you already know about them? Contrary to what everyone thought, the video shows what a good heart Faza has. I've got some sad news to share about Sheikh Hamdan's love life. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Unfortunately, all his requests got turned down, and on October 16, 2022, Sheikh Hamdan and his second wife split for good. She was the one who asked for the divorce on October 15th. On October 17th, Sheikh Hamdan shared another poem. I explained its meaning in previous videos. In short, it talks about him accepting the end of his rights over his second wife and expressing his love for her. The mention of Sheikh Mohammed's kingdom means their ties are over. There are a bunch of reasons for the split, like unmet expectations and conditions on both sides. Now, about the kids, Sheikh Hamdan's sister will be looking after them because in their Islamic royal family setup, Sheikh Hamdan has more say over the kids. Have you ever wondered what the wife of Sheikh Hamdan thinks about him? In this video, we'll explore a poem written by Hadia Zen, Sheikh Hamdan's ex-wife, about their relationship. Discover the secrets she reveals and gain insight into their love story. The poem, which is titled My Sheikh My Love, is a heartfelt tribute to Sheikh Hamdan. It describes him as a kind, loving, and generous person who is deeply committed to his family and his people. The poem also touches on Sheikh Hamdan's love for nature and his his passion for adventure. Through the poem we can learn a lot about Sheikh Hamdan's personality and character. He is portrayed as a humble and down-to-earth person who is deeply connected to his roots and his culture. He is also shown to be a romantic and caring partner who values his relationship with Hadia Zen. The poem provides a unique insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life and his personal relationships. It shows us a side of him that is rarely seen in public and gives us a glimpse into the man behind the public persona. Hadia Zen comes from a prominent family in Dubai and was married to Sheikh Hamdan for several years before their divorce. In the poem, she describes Sheikh Hamdan as her soulmate and the love of her life. She also talks about their shared love for nature and adventure and how they would often go on long drives and explore the wilderness together. However, the poem also hints at some of the challenges that their relationship faced. Hadia Zen talks about how Sheikh Hamdan's responsibilities as a prince often kept him away from from her and how she would miss him dearly during those times. She also mentions how their relationship was tested by external factors, such as the pressures of public life and the expectations of their families. Hadia Zen's perspective on Sheikh Hamdan is one of love and admiration, but also one of complexity and nuance. The poem gives us a glimpse into their private life and the challenges that they faced as a couple, and it shows us that even the most glamorous and high-profile relationships are not immune to the ups and downs of real life. Some people have praised the poem for its beauty and its 
insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life, they have commended Hadia Zen for her courage in sharing such personal thoughts and feelings with the world, and have expressed admiration for the love that she and Sheikh Hamdan shared. Others, however, have been more critical of the poem. They have questioned the appropriateness of sharing such personal details about a public figure and have accused Hadia Zen of seeking attention or revenge. Some have even suggested that the poem may have been written with the intention of damaging Shish Hamdan's reputation or causing him embarrassment. Despite the mixed reactions, the poem has continued to generate interest and discussion. It has sparked conversations about love, relationships, and the challenges of public life and has given us a glimpse into the private world of one of Dubai's most prominent figures. As the world continues to follow the lives of Dubai's royal family, it is likely that we will see more glimpses into their private lives in the future. For now, the poem My Shake, My Love remains a fascinating and thought-provoking piece of writing that has captured the attention of people around the world. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, if you want to know the real reason Sheikh Hamdan's wife left him, make sure to watch the video on the screen to find out why. Who is Sheikh Hamdan's mysterious girlfriend? Discover the shocking truth about Sheikh Hamdan's mysterious girlfriend, Shama Al Falasi. You won't believe what we found out. If you're curious about the life of this fascinating Sheikh, make sure to watch until the end. Shama Al Falasi is a well known personality in the United Arab Emirates. She was born on December 22, 1993, in Dubai, UAE. She is a social media influencer, entrepreneur, and founder of the luxury perfume brand Shama Al Falasi Perfumes. Shama Al Falasi met Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, in 2018. They reportedly fell in love and started dating soon after. Sheikh Hamdan is the son of the ruler of Dubai and is known for his love of adventure, sports, poetry, and philanthropy. Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan's relationship has been the subject of much media attention and speculation. They have faced criticism from some quarters due to their age difference and cultural differences. However, they have also received a lot of support from their fans and well wishers. Despite the challenges they have faced, Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have been spotted together at various events and occasions. They have also shared pictures and videos of each other on their social media accounts. Shama Al Falasi is known for her fashion sense and has been featured in various fashion magazines and blogs. She is also a philanthropist and has been involved in various charitable causes. Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan's relationship has been the subject of much media attention and speculation, leading to various controversies and rumors. One of the most common rumors is that Shama Al Falasi is a gold digger who is only interested in Sheikh Hamdan's wealth and status. However, there is no evidence to support this claim, and Shama Al Falasi has repeatedly denied it. Another controversy surrounding Shama Al Falasi is her age difference with Sheikh Hamdan. Shama Al Falasi is 30 years old, while Sheikh Hamdan is 39 years old. Some people have criticized their relationship, citing the age difference and cultural differences as reasons why they should not be together. However, Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have not let the criticism affect their relationship. There have also been rumors that Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan are secretly married. However, there is no evidence to support this claim, and both Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have not made any official statements regarding their marital status. Despite the controversies and rumors, Shama Al Falasi and Sheikh Hamdan have continued to be together and have the support of their fans and well wishers. They have also been spotted together at various events and occasions, and have shared pictures and videos of each other on their social media accounts. In the future, Shama Al Falasi plans to expand her business and launch new products under her brand. She has also expressed her desire to use her platform to raise awareness about various social issues and to give back to the community through charitable causes. As for her relationship with Sheikh Hamdan, their future plans are not known to the public. They have kept their relationship private and have not made any official statements regarding their future plans. However, they have continued to be together and have the support of their fans and well wishes. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit Hit the like button and if you want to know about the secret life of Sheikh Hamdan's kids, don't miss out watching the video that is on the screen right now.
Are you curious about the love story between Shama al falasi and Sheikh Hamdan bin Muhammad al-Maktoum? In this video, you'll discover the beautiful poem that Shama wrote for her beloved, but that's not all. You'll also learn some fascinating details about Sheikh Hamdan's life that you won't find anywhere else. Sheikh Hamdan is a member of the ruling family of Dubai and is the crown prince of Dubai. He is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horse racing. Shama al falasi is the wife of Sheikh Hamdan and is known for her poetry. The couple met through their shared love of poetry and have been married for several years. Sheikh Hamdan is also known for his philanthropic work and has contributed to various charitable causes in the UAE and around the world. The video highlights the importance of Sheikh Hamdan's position as a prince and his role in the United Arab Emirates. The background information provides context for the love poem written by Shama al falasi and helps viewers understand the significance of the poem in the couple's relationship. The poem is a testament to their love and devotion to each other. The video provides a translation of the poem for non-Arabic speakers and analyzes the language and imagery used in the poem. The poem is a beautiful expression of love and admiration, and it reveals the depth of the couple's relationship. The video discusses the significance of the poem and what it reveals about the couple's relationship. The poem is a reflection of the couple's shared love of poetry and their appreciation for the beauty of language. The video also highlights the importance of poetry in Emirati culture and how it is used to express emotions and feelings. The love poem is a beautiful tribute to Sheikh Hamdan and Shama's love for each other, and it is a testament to the power of love and the beauty of language. The video provides a deeper understanding of the poem and its significance in the couple's relationship, and it helps viewers appreciate the beauty of poetry and the importance of expressing emotions through language. Sheikh Hamdan Hamdan is the crown prince of Dubai and is known for his love of adventure and his passion for horse racing. He is also an accomplished poet and has published several collections of his work. The video discusses Sheikh Hamdan's role in the United Arab Emirates and his contributions to the country's development. He is known for his philanthropic work and has contributed to various charitable causes in the UAE and around the world. The video also highlights Sheikh Hamdan's love of nature and his commitment to preserving the environment. He is an avid falconer and has been involved in several conservation projects in the UAE. The video provides a glimpse into Sheikh Hamdan's life and his many accomplishments. It highlights his passion for adventure, his love of poetry, and his commitment to making a positive impact on the world. The video also emphasizes the importance of Sheikh Hamdan's position as a prince and his role in the UAE's development. Overall, Sheikh Hamdan's love of adventure, passion for horse racing, and his accomplishments as a poet. The text also highlights his philanthropic work and his commitment to preserving the environment. Additionally, the text provides insight into Emirati culture and traditions, including the importance of Islam, family, and community. It discusses Emirati cuisine, traditional dress, and the importance of hospitality in the culture. The text emphasizes the importance of preserving Emirati culture and traditions in a rapidly changing world and encourages readers to learn more about the country's history and culture. Overall, the text provides a deeper understanding of Sheikh Hamdan's life and his contributions to society, as well as the rich cultural heritage of the United Arab Emirates. A piece of poetry, poignant and potent, shared by Hadia Zen, who, as many of you might already know, is the ex-wife of Sheikh Hamdan. The poem surfaced on Instagram on the 4th of May 2023, and it carries a whirlwind of emotions and subtle narratives that seem to unveil the curtains to some hidden chapters of Hadia's past life with Sheikh Hamdan. Before we dive deep into the heart of this poem, a quick heads up. If English isn't your first language, worry not. Just hit the subtitles button, select your language language and follow along with ease. We've ensured that the essence of this discussion is accessible to everyone, regardless of language barriers. Today's journey through poetry is not just about reading lines, but about unwrapping layers of sentiments and underlying messages. It's about connecting the dots, finding the contexts, and trying to grasp the emotions and experiences that have been poured into words by Hadia. Your attention is key, as we'll first absorb the original poem in all its raw intent Density, then step into a space of translation and thoughtful interpretation. So, buckle up as we navigate through the poetic landscapes of Hayadiyya Zen's heart and history. Let's explore together. We're about to embark on a journey, not just through a poem, but through a tapestry of feelings, woven
woven with threads of experiences, decisions, happiness, and sorrow. The original poem, in its untouched and raw form, carries the pure essence of Hadiyah's emotions, and it holds the keys to understanding the profound messages encrypted within the lines. The words echo with nuances, possibly revealing hidden layers of her past relationship, allowing us a peek into the depths of her heart and mind. Art, especially poetry, holds power. It's a gateway that offers a subtle passage into the personal realms of individuals, allowing us glimpses into their worlds, their joys and sorrows. And in this case, the poetic verses seem to reverberate with echoes of Hadiyah's personal journey. Her moments in the frames of decisions and the realms of happiness and sadness within her past relationship with Sheikh Hamdan. So as we display this poem, let's approach it with sensitivity and openness. Let's be receptive explorers, setting sails on the vast ocean of its expressions, eager to uncover the treasures of meaning and emotion hidden beneath the surface of words. The exploration promises to be enriching, laden with insights into the human heart and the complexities of personal relationships. Let's unveil the beauty and the bitterness embraced within this poetic expression together. All right, guys, now that we've soaked in the original essence of the poem, it's time to unravel its mysteries. We're going to sift through its lines, translating and dissecting each word, each emotion laid bare by Hadia. So grab your detective hats and let's dive into this poetic investigation. First off, let's tackle the translation. We'll gently unwrap the words, aligning them with more familiar territories of language and expression, ensuring that the soul of the poem remains cradled in its essence, even as we journey through different linguistic landscapes. The aim here is clarity, my friends, bringing the poem closer to the hearts and understandings of all who join us on this exploration. Now, on to the explanation, our chance to walk through the garden of this poem, touching each flower of expression, feeling each thorn of emotion. We'll start with the powerful beginning, The Time Has Gone, a doorway into Hadia's past chapters with Sheikh Hamdan. What do these words whisper about the sands of time that have slipped away, about the moments and memories wrapped in the folds of yesteryears? As we wander further, the poem speaks of happiness, or perhaps the echoes of its scarcity. It speaks of frames, decisions, and a realm where happiness seemed a fleeting guest. What does Hadia reveal about the frames that held her, about the decisions that seemed more like confinements. And then, the poem takes us along paths of letting go, of sadness tinged with the essence of liberation and survival. It seems to echo with the wisdom of distances, of saved lives and hearts, and the realization of the boundaries of reach and possibility. First on our list is this intriguing concept of frame. It pops up quite a bit, doesn't it? Let's hover around this idea for a moment. Could it be representing the structure, the boundaries, or perhaps the restrictions of their relationship? It seems like the frame of decisions and the environment that she found herself in with Sheikh Hamdan wasn't quite the picture-perfect scene she had hoped for. Next, let's sail through the seas of happiness in the poem. It's a vast ocean, but it seems like the tides of joy were somewhat low in Hayadia's voyage. Her happiness seems like a rare bird in the vast sky of experiences, overshadowed by heavier clouds of discontent and unease. And then there's this captivating journey from sadness to salvation. The poem narrates a tale of sorrow intertwined with the essence of freedom and survival. It's like walking through a storm, but finding a rainbow waiting on the other side. Hadia seems to find a silver lining in the gloom, a sanctuary in the separation. So, where does our journey begin? With Hadia Zen and Sheikh Hamdan, two lives intertwined in the threads of relationship and marriage. The echoes of their past reverberate through the poem, whispering tales of time spent together, decisions made, and the roller coaster of emotions experienced. This isn't just history, it's a canvas where the hues of their shared experiences blend and bleed into the tapestry of the poem. Diving into the poem, there's a recurring rhythm of happiness and sorrow, almost like the ebb and flow of tides. It feels like Hadia's words are navigated by the ship of their past relationship, sailing through storms of decisions and conflicts. It appears
appears as though the choices and environments, frames, as Hadia calls them, that existed in their relationship were more confining than comforting. And let's talk about the frames, possibly a metaphor representing the structured decisions and boundaries within which their relationship sailed. It seems that these frames bore heavily on Hadia, their rigid lines limiting the expanses of her happiness and comfort. These historical and emotional backgrounds serve as a guide, leading us through the mazes of expression in the poem. They shine light on the shadows, illuminating the nooks and crannies of meanings and emotions intertwined within the verses. So let's stroll through these contextual gardens, allowing the flowers of understanding to bloom in the light of background knowledge. The poem, rich with metaphors and emotions, opened doors to understanding a tapestry woven with threads of happiness, decision frames, and the bittersweet moments of letting go. Hadia's verses became a mirror, reflecting parts of her journey with Sheikh Hamdan, revealing facets of joy, constraint, liberation, and survival. As we stand at the conclusion of this poetic journey, it feels like we've shared a walk through the corridors of Hayadiyah's experiences, feeling the resonance of her emotions and the footsteps of her past. It's essential to appreciate the depth and vulnerability it takes to share such personal realms through poetry. Before we wrap up, a heartfelt thank you for joining in this exploration. Your presence and engagement breathe life into the words and make the journey through the poetic landscapes more enriching and meaningful. If these verses have touched your heart or sparked thoughts, feel free to share, discuss, and keep the river of exploration flowing. Remember, every poem holds a universe within its words, waiting for explorers like us to uncover its stars and skies. So here's to many more poetic voyages together, exploring, understanding, and appreciating the diverse realms of expression. Until next time, keep the spirit of poetic exploration alive and vibrant. Your thoughts, reflections, and insights are treasures in this journey. So feel free to share them in the comments below, letting the waves of discussion and understanding flow. If you found value in our exploration, a like and share would be much appreciated to spread the richness of poetic discovery further into the world. Let's keep the spirit of poetic exploration and appreciation thriving together.